Land navigation is a crucial skill needed to be successful throughout your time as a soldier. Your ability to perform this skill will be put to the test from your home station to combat training centers to overseas deployments and will be a major deciding factor for mission success throughout your Army career. This trainer is designed to fill the gap between classroom instruction and an actual land navigation course. The trainer focuses on correct plotting of points, establishing a plan for completing the course, calculation of distance and direction, correct use of pace count, and pace beads. On the land nav introduction screen, select the time of day, weather, and night vision conditions you desire to train under. Night vision cannot be activated during daytime. On the bottom right of the screen is a brief course description and task, conditions, and standards for land navigation training. There's also a help button that will walk you through the different options on this screen. When you are ready to begin, click the start button. This is the primary interface for the land navigation trainer and will open in the map view. In the top left corner of the map are zoom and movement features. This view is where you will plot your points and determine azimuths and distances. Your assigned points can be found on the bottom right of this screen. On the bottom left are buttons to activate the protractor, point markers, and distance scale. The protractor can be moved by left-clicking on the protractor and dragging it as needed. To plot points, simply left-click on a marker and then move your pointer onto the map and click where you would like to place the point. To reposition the markers, click on a portion of the marker flag and drag it while holding down the left mouse button. Distances are measured by dragging either of the two distance markers located on the map. The measured distance appears as a red marker on the scale immediately below the map. The distance markers may also be used in conjunction with the protractor to get accurate azimuths. The red arrows are a reset button that will clear the point markers off the map and return them to the bottom of the screen. Immediately below it is the help function that describes the different functions of the view and shows the keyboard shortcuts for performing different functions. After you've determined distance and azimuth, you may use the notepad function to keep this information readily available. The notepad can be accessed by clicking the up arrow in the tab directly above the point grids hitting N or clicking the notepad button. Double click the left mouse button in the lines you wish to make notes and type your information. It is closed by clicking the down arrow. When you are finished with the map and ready to navigate, simply click on the globe image icon and the map will disappear. You can reopen the map any time during gameplay by hitting M or hitting the map button. Closing the map replaces the protractor and distance scale buttons with the notepad, PT belt, and compass buttons. Clicking the compass button, or using the C key, will access the compass. Simply use the Q or E key to pivot to the desired azimuth. Clicking the icon again puts your compass away. The pedometer immediately right of the icons allows input for individual pace counts. Click in the pedometer window, delete the text, and insert a 100 meter pace count. Clicking the blue button starts the pedometer counting, and the blue button indicates counting by turning red. Click the now red button to stop the pace count and restarting it resets it to zero. As you are navigating, you may use the pace beads accessed by the tab above the bank of buttons on the left. Click on a bead to move it up or down or use the plus and minus keys as required to count. Hitting the equals key will reset all the beads to their start position. Moving the avatar is accomplished by using the W, A, S, D keys.
When a location is reached and a search is needed, the PT belt may be dropped using the PT belt button or the P key. Picking up the PT belt is accomplished by toggling the PT belt button or the P key. When a point is located, approach the marker and the status bar will ask which point has been found. The point marking prompt will disappear when walking away from a point. After all points have been located, clicking on the Confirm button will assess your navigation skills.